What's up guys, JDog back here from Seacoast. Today we're going to be going through how you can add biomes of plenty to your Minecraft server. So let's get started with some requirements and of course you're going to need yourself a Minecraft server first if you haven't got one, then head on over to the Minecraft hosting section and find a package that suits you. With your server started, we're just going to make sure that we do stop it and make sure that it's running a Forge server jar. So depending on what version you're going to be using, I'm going to be using 1.12.2 and we'll also be going over how you can add it to further versions. So with Forge 1.12.2 started, so we have all the relevant files and folders opened up, we're just going to go ahead and stop the server. Next we're going to head on over to Curse Forge. links will all be in the description. Once you click on Minecraft you're going to be put onto the mod packs and we want to go onto the actual mods. From here search in biomes and you're going to find on the top it biomes are plenty right here. Rather than just hitting install let's just click biomes are plenty and from here we're going to find the one that's relative to our version. To do that go up and go to files and here you can find all of the recent files and versions. R stands for release, B stands for beta. So the release in your version is going to be the best one to go for. Obviously for me I'm going to be looking for 1.12.2 which is going to be easier to choose using the selector over here. The latest release with the little green button for release is going to be downloadable from here so I'm going to go ahead and download this one. As you can see it's going to be downloaded in the top right corner. Make sure to press keep if it does ask you. But we're now going to be looking at uploading the mod to the actual server itself before we make a little configuration to make sure that it works for our world. To do this we're going to be using FileZilla. If you're unsure on how to use FileZilla or how to connect we're going to run through it quickly now but there is also another video that I'll have popping up right now for you to be able to connect um, and know exactly what you're doing with FileZilla. So to get the information to log on to your server you're going to need to enter the the host, the username, the password and the port. You can get this by going to your FTP client from the main menu on your Multicraft and then using the FTP address for the host, using your FTP username for the username section, using your Multicraft password for the password and then using your FTP port number for the port. Once you've done that, quick connect and then you can select it from the little drop down list over here if you do ever need to get back into it again. Once logged in, you're going to see that you have your server files on the right hand side over here and then you have your files on the left. You can select what document you're looking at by scrolling up and down if it's on this PC downloads or of course the desktop. I've put mine in the folder over here so you can see biomes are plenty. Now we're going to open up the mods folder on the right hand side on your server and we're simply going to drag and drop biomes are plenty over from your PC to the server. Once done you're going to get a successful message such as that one and we can close down FileZilla. Now before you open up your server there's a few things that I do suggest doing. This is because the world generation tends not to work so well with older worlds and you do need a newer world. And we need to tell the server that we want it to run uh, biomes of plenty rather than just a standard world. So before you do start your server, one of the things I do suggest is actually deleting your world first. If you're with us here at Seekhost, you can simply log into your FTP file access, select worlds, and then go to delete, and then press submit. Once deleted, you can then go back to your main Multicraft panel, and you can also do this through FileZilla the way that we just connected, and you can simply delete the world. Next up to change your configuration, this is going to vary. For this, we're going to go to Files, then we're going to go to Configuration Files. After that, we're going to go to Server Settings. This will now vary with what host you're with. If you're with us here at Seekerhost, you're first going to have to come down to where it says Level Type, and you're going to change that to Customized. If you have an area that you can type into here, then you're going to type in Biomes OP, all in capitals like we're just about to do in the video in a second. Now this will change depending on what version you're on. If we come back to the description for Biomes of Plenty, you're going to see that anything for 12.2 or 1.12.2 or below is going to have to read like this, so Biomes OP, all in capitals. And anything over 1.12.2 has got to be in a lower case, and it says Biomes O Plenty like this. So here with Seacoast, we've got to first select Customize. So level type, and we're going to select Customize. At this point, we're going to come down, and we're going to click Save to save that file. Once you've done that, come back to your to the first part of your server, your panel, and we're going to go to Files, and then FTP File Access. From here, come down to your server properties, go over to Edit, and look for where it says Level Type, and it will say Customized. Here is where we now replace it to Biomes OP. Where I'm using 1.12.2, it's going to be Capitals, and it's going to be Biomes OP. Once that is done, just go up to save, go back to your main screen, and you can start your server up using Biomes of Plenty as the world generation. So at this point, your server would have either started or it would have crashed. Now let's just go over what would have happened if it's crashed and how you can fix it. If it started perfect, you can go ahead and log on to your server. Now, as you can see, even 1.12.2 have many, many different versions, and Forge gets updated all the time. So it could be that your Forge version or your mod version isn't exact. So for this, I'm going to go down to the release that was before the release that I just downloaded and I'm going to download that file instead. Once connected up to FileZilla we're going to go to the mods folder and we're going to delete the old um, file over here which we don't need the old biomes of plenty or the newer version depending on which one it was and we're just going to drag over the other version that we just downloaded. Once done you got your little message we can go ahead and start the server back up using the same configuration that we had before. Everything's all up and running and you can now log on using the same mod on your client side so on your PC as on your server. 
The reason I included that is because there are hundreds and hundreds of different jars, and sometimes things get updated and some things don't with the mods. One way to check if it does crash is by going to your files and then going to the FTP file access, and then you can come down to crash reports. From here you can see all of the latest reports, and as you can see here, missing mods, meaning that the Forge version wasn't matching. Mine was three versions behind the one that I downloaded, meaning that by downloading the one previous to that, it now matches the same Forge version, and our servers are up and running.